where we are giving away nine Porsches in five weeks. One Club Serrano member will start the new year with a brand new Porsche 911 Turbo S on January 3rd. Details at Yamaha.com. Must be 21 to enter. The Volvo Holiday Sales Event. Perfect for wherever your little passengers want to go. I want a hot chocolate. Yeah. I want to go sledding. <laughs> Mom, play our wizard playlist. Yeah, play it. Turn this up. I love the holidays. The Volvo XC60 and XC90. Your first step to a safe and happy holiday season. Sign and drive with zero down, zero due at signing, and zero first payment on select Volvo SUVs during the Holiday Safely Sales Event. Continued live coverage of dangerous fire weather. Updates on high wind and red flag warnings, plus the latest on the Franklin Fire in Malibu. Tomorrow. Now at 7, a wind-driven wildfire burning thousands of acres in Malibu, prompting evacuations and destroying homes. As the fire danger persists, officials warning the suppression efforts are far from over. We'll speak live with the mayor of Malibu on the firefight. Clearly, I'm a judge, and it's an intelligence that the American people and the lived experience. Then an outburst outside a Pennsylvania courthouse. The man accused of killing United Healthcare CEO Brian Thompson is before a judge as he fights extradition. Now on the news at 7. Good evening, I'm Micah Ullman. And I'm Cher Calvin. The Franklin Fire has exploded in size since it erupted late last night near Malibu Canyon Road. The fire has burned more than 2,800 acres. At this point, there is zero containment. 8,100 homes and other structures are currently threatened, affecting some 18,000 people. We have live team coverage. Meteorologist Vera Jimenez is tracking conditions in the Weather Center. And Angeli Kakaday is in Malibu near Pepperdine. But we begin with Chris Wolf with the latest on the firefight. Chris. Yeah, good evening, Cher and Micah and everybody. We are talking about the Franklin Fire here in the Malibu area, and it appears the eastern flank of this disaster is most active right now. We just received an update here at a lifeguard station in Zuma Beach from fire and law enforcement officials. The main messages coming out of this news conference the Franklin fire is still a major threat as long as the red flag warning is in effect with conditions conducive to wildfire. We're talking about strong winds, dry brush, and low humidity. Residents are urged to stay alert and vigilant and follow all evacuation orders and warnings. Right now, about 20,000 people are affected in the Malibu area with the Franklin Fire, which started late Monday night north of Pepperdine University. Cause still unknown. Power outages and a lack of cell service only make matters worse. Authorities say if you're cut off from communication and the media and you decide to stay put in your home, think about getting a battery-powered radio to keep up on the fire situation. A few homes have been damaged or destroyed. Early estimates are that seven homes have been destroyed, eight damaged so far. The L.A. County Sheriff's Department is conducting regular security patrols through affected neighborhoods to keep people and property safe. The fire grew some 600 acres today to reach 2,862 acres burned, or about seven square miles. It remains 0% contained, and managing this disaster will require teams on foot, when possible, to dig fire lines. We will be making drops tonight to keep the fire in check. We're gonna take advantage of the lower temperatures, the higher humidities, to try to get more containment of the fire. We're at 0% contained. We wanna wake up tomorrow morning and make sure that we at least start getting some containment. Uh, because remember, we're gonna be in a red flag alert through Wednesday at 8 p.m. right now. About 1,500 firefighters are on the job right now. We'll have much more on this developing story throughout the night. For now, reporting live in Zuma Beach, Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News.
Chris, thank you for that. And uh, the Franklin fire in Malibu Canyon broke out just before 11 p.m. and quickly burned neighboring hillsides. Residents say they watched the night sky turn red, wondering which way the fire was headed. Neighbors alerted one another as they raced to get out with their animals as flying embers from the wind-driven fire fluttered around them. I ran outside and looked up and I just saw the orange glow. It was coming from every angle. You couldn't see a couple feet next to you. You couldn't see the person next to you. Another resident shot this video of the terrifying moments he was caught in in the middle of it all. He used garden hoses to soak his house and others. Most of the homes survived, but others were not as lucky. While many people were told to evacuate, Pepperdine University students were ordered to shelter in place. KTLA's Angeli Cockaday joins us live from Malibu with the reasons why school officials made that decision. Angeli. Well, Micah and Cher, the this, uh, shelter in place was lifted earlier this morning and was lifted for most of the day, but it is back on tonight. If you take a look behind me, you can see why. These flames just started shooting uh, from this side of the canyon. As you can see from the earlier reports, that glow was kind of over to the right of where we are. Um, and now that the embers seem to have jumped to this side, closer to PCH and closer to uh, Pepperdine uh, University. We spoke to students earlier earlier today who described the fire last night as bold and aggressive. Others shared videos as the flames approached buildings while they were sheltering in place. Take a look. These were taken during that shelter in place order where students are assigned to either the Payson Library or Waves Cafeteria on uh, on campus. Now we spoke with campus officials earlier today who say the shelter in place protocol is the best way to keep students safe and that the campus is actually designed for fire protection that helps students feel safe. Take a listen. It was insane. Like, it was so bright and, like, by far biggest fire I've ever seen. So it was pretty scary for a little bit, but I knew we were safe in the cafeteria. Now, again, that shelter in place is back on tonight. It was back in effect until about, uh, it was started to be in effect at about 4.30, mostly because, again, the, the power remains off tonight. Uh, uh, officials here on campus tell me they'll reassess uh, tomorrow morning, but at this point, it does look like cancels will be, classes will be canceled for a second day in a row tomorrow. For another reporting live here in Malibu, Angelique Cockade, I'll send it back to you over in Hollywood. All right, Angeli, thank you so much. And as the fires burn in Malibu, red flag warnings are also in effect throughout the Inland Empire. This is annoying. We're not every year for about six months, we run the risk of it, um, the power going off whenever these winds kick up. And I guess that part of the grid that we're on, we will always be shut off is what we are told. In the Inland Empire are expected to continue through the night with the potential for damage and more power outages. With a look at the situation as it stands at this hour, meteorologist Vera Hamed is tracking it all for us. Vera. Thank you so much. Yes, it's not until tomorrow that those winds will finally abate. Uh, outside, here's a nice view from our downtown Los Angeles camera looking towards the skyline there. And as we take a look around the region for some of the strongest winds that were reported today along the Santa Ana Mountains and the San Gregorio pass. We saw wind speeds of 64 miles per hour near Highland Springs, also in the Inland Empire at 66 and in Chino Hills, they made it to 65. And in fact, even last night when the wind started, uh, Chino Hills was already clocking wind speeds in the 60s. So we still have a red flag warning, a widespread red flag warning that you'll see in a moment, but we still have a particular dangerous situation in play, but that is only impacting the Santa Susana Mountains in Ventura. That will be be in place until...